we are talking about inverters and how I did my setup. This is a how I did it DIY, not necessarily a how-to video. So with that being said, just keep that in mind. Um, always do your research. But let's get into things right now and let's go. So what I did is I mounted the batteries inside my storage compartment because I wanted to shift the load of the batteries further back that were off of the pin and actually it freed up some space in here as well and with that being done I had to move the cables I had to route the cables more further back through the wall here we have two 12 volt 200 amp hour batteries we wired them in series and doing that we actually double the voltage and the amperage stays the same so we have 24 volts at 200 amps and that's what this Victron is actually made for is a 24 volt system uh, make sure that when you're doing your designs that you're actually getting the right equipment with that being said um, there's 12 volt inverters 24 volt inverters and there's 48 volt inverters um, from Victron so let's continue on as we're seeing right now I'm installing the shunts and DC load distributor so that way your 24 volt comes into the load bar and that actually will distribute all the load evenly with these mega fuses that get put in place and so those mega fuses will blow before um, anything else hits the DC side of the inverter or our solar charge controller. Also, we put in a shunt, Bluetooth shunt, and we have that on the negative side. And then on the positive side, we have the disconnect. So since we are actually doing 24 volt system, we had to get a DC to DC converter. This is a 24 volt step down to 12 volts and you can adjust the voltage so it actually we have it set to about 13.2 volts and it can handle 70 amps and you need that much because of the jacks, the stabilizers, uh, the slides, everything that runs off 12 volts. So everything up to this point has been DC. We've got our batteries hooked up, we got everything connected to our battery disconnect, that's the main disconnect to the 24 volts load distributor here. And then also we have all our outputs going to our solar controller and to our Victron as well. So now all the DC stuff is taken care of. Um, Again, I did not touch anything with our 12 volt bus bar. I left that completely intact. Everything's already connected um, for your slide mechanisms, your jacks, lights, everything to do with the 12 volt side, I left alone. So now let's show you what I did with the AC side. And it is very simple. What I did here is I took the breaker box out where our main breaker box is on the inside of the RV and I made sure we are not dealing with live power so make sure always disconnect your power and you'll make sure that ensures no load no power is coming from anywhere we are gonna take our wire that goes from the plug and that goes to the actual main breaker box. We're gonna take those wires out and I'm gonna run it on the, pull that wire all the way back and then we're gonna run it inside. You can see my uh, watchdog here. So we got a hardwired one and we just went right into that. I want to, got the same gauge wire and then we're coming in a little short jumper from there into the AC and put it here on the Victron inverter and then we just had to get a little bit longer wire 
for AC side and we do an AC output and this is 50 amp that we're dealing with then just run those back to your main panel and hook it up just like it was and the AC side is done uh, that's really simple to do and just finding your cable routes is going to be the hardest part of this job and I mean that's that, that's it we'll talk about solar in another video here I hope this video helps you out I hope that it inspires you to maybe save some money and go DIY